your shifting sucks, you're inefficient, you're bogging your engine, and you're probably trying to figure out what gear you should be in half the time. Well, I'm here to show you how to improve your driving skills on the track and on the street by showing you how to heel toe downshift. The GR86 was my first manual car, and heel toe was the first thing that I put all my efforts into learning. I truly believe that heel toe downshifting has applications outside of the track. It's an advanced technique that can make you a more efficient driver, and a more efficient driver is a better driver. Plus, this is the whole reason why we got a manual transmission. I had a friend ask me, is it absolutely necessary to heel toe downshift every time you rev match? And the answer is technically no. I mean, you could even cruise all the way in neutral to a full stop. But from a safety standpoint, you kind of want to be in gear at all times in case you got to accelerate out of a sticky situation. Hence why people get rear ended all the time. There's already a lot of YouTube videos out there teaching people how to heel toe downshift. And I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here, but I'm trying to give you small tips and tricks that really helped me get through this. And I guess the first question that we gotta ask ourselves is, what exactly is heel toe downshifting? It's exactly like rev matching when downshifting regularly, but now you're adding the brakes into the equation. So instead of clutch, downshift, blip, you're gonna go brake, clutch, downshift, and blip while simultaneously holding the brake. So when is it a good time to heel toe downshift? In my opinion, it's any time you have to slow down enough to downshift. Whether that be coming to a stop at a stoplight or heading into a corner so that you'll be in the right gear for corner exit. You're able to use your brakes to slow down while maintaining the proper gear to be in to accelerate properly. So technically speaking, you don't have to be on a racetrack or in a race car to apply this technique. So now you put it all together, you get a little something like this. So the way I like to practice this is when I'm coming to a complete stop. So here's regular rev matching. And now here's heel toe. Foot is on the brake at all times. So again, you can regular rev match without coming to a complete stop. So I'm in sixth gear right now. Here's fifth, fourth, and third. The difference between regular rev matching and heel toe downshifting is your rev matching while you're on the brakes. So here we're in fourth gear, slowing down, going to third, second, and almost to a complete stop, neutral. Fifth gear, fourth, third, second, neutral. So the hard part to practice is maintaining the same brake pressure while pivoting onto the throttle. And that'll come with learning the car and just practice over time. Which is why my small tip here is to practice this in your garage with the car off and just practice this motion right here. So now that we've nailed coming to a complete stop with heel toe downshifting, now let's take it to my favorite place to practice this is at roundabouts because you don't have to stop. So it kind of simulates track driving in that sense where you're coming into a corner and you need to be in the proper gear to exit. Oh, well, we come to a complete stop here. And I'm in second gear already, ready to go and exit out of this corner. First tip that's probably highly overlooked are shoes. If you look at driving shoes, they have a very small footprint and a very low heel. 
kind of like boxing or wrestling shoes, but nobody's ever gonna wear those out in public. So my go-to are Chuck's, Chuck Taylor's. It's classic, it's timeless, low heel, small footprint, and I will stand by this. It is the best driving shoe that I have tried thus far. If you're having trouble with heel toe, it's probably because you're wearing some really clunky running shoes that have a lot of cushion. And normally that's good for walking, but for driving, not so much because you don't have a lot of feel for the pedals. And also in this case, a very large heel in my case. And when I do the pivot, I'm hitting the side wall of my foot well here before I even get to the throttle. And please keep in mind that you should probably learn how to rev match first if you don't know already how to do that before you learn how to heel toe. Uh, it'll just make things a lot easier, the transition uh, from rev matching to heel toe. But once you do learn how to rev match, just go ahead and practice that pivot. Uh, it's more of a roll from the ball of your foot to the side of your foot onto the throttle. It's not actually using your whole heel on the throttle. I guess that was the one main thing that I was really confused about when learning this technique. Pivot! Pivot! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! And no, your shifting does not suck if you don't know how to heel toe. My friend who actually taught me how to drive manual actually has never learned heel toe. He just knows how to rev match and he's able to get through his day, no problem. But I'm just gonna assume that if you got a manual transmission car, you are probably a car enthusiast and are into performance driving. So if you are, and you do fit those categories, then I suggest, highly suggest, learning how to heel toe. By the way, notice anything different? I finally got a haircut today, but yeah, uh, oh, I got some big things planned. I know I'll, I'm always saying that, but I'm collabing with a YouTuber who I guess you could say, call him a GR86 YouTuber, no longer a GR86 YouTuber, but a car enthusiast. If you haven't seen his videos already, please check out Jabal and Cars. Uh, we collaborated on a video that he made uh, kind of comparing the GR86, my GR86 specifically, to his brand new Lotus Amira. So if you're a car enthusiast who kind of values the performance driving aspect of the car scene, that is your place to be. Uh, we get to test out some cool cars. And I believe the Lotus is kind of just like very, I would say it's the underdog when it comes to the performance car scene. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe. My goal, big goal, is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. With that being said, I'm just gonna keep pushing out content. So if you're here for the GR86, if you're here to learn some more about cars, uh, as I'm learning more about cars, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. When I heartbreak like a tattoo, oh, what you want from me, girl? Cause I've been giving for a long time.